Hey there, friends. This week in writing, we're going to continue talking about personal narratives, and we're going to practice writing those. This, um, I know you can see my, my paper here. You can't see me, and that's okay. As long as you can hear my voice, that will be fine, because I'm going to uh, write my own personal narrative of a time that I forgot my lunch. I forgot my lunchbox. Okay, um, I'm gonna remember all the good things that I need to include, like in my personal narrative, like characters and the setting, that kind of helps paint that mental picture of whoever's gonna read this, so that they can tell who the people are and where the story and when the story is taking place. And also, um, every personal narrative needs to have a problem and a solution. The problem is gonna be that I forgot my lunchbox. You're gonna have to wait and see what the solution is. As I am writing this, I'm going to make sure that I am focused, that I'm really only writing about what I want to write about in this, in this um, personal narrative. I'm only telling this story. I want to make sure that I'm telling this story and not another one, okay? I don't want to start writing about this and then start writing about a birthday party. No, I want to make sure that I'm writing only about this because I'm at school um, and this one thing is happening, okay? Because if we write about too many things, it gets confusing for our readers. All right, well, here we go. I'm going to start out my personal narrative by introducing the characters and the setting. And the character would be me. The setting would be at school um, and in my class. I think I was in the first grade when this happened. So um, I will say, let's see how I want to say this. Hmm. In my first grade, in my first grade class, it was almost lunchtime. And I'm going to make sure I put my period there. <clears throat> I realized I didn't have my lunch. So there's my problem. Here is in my first grade class, it was almost lunchtime. So my characters and setting are there and, and the characters would be my, me and then my first grade classmates, the teacher. And we are in school and it's almost lunchtime. I realized I didn't have my lunch. Well, that is a problem, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so here's the solution. We called home and my Mom was there. She said she would bring in my lunchbox. Now I want some sort of ending. Whoops, that doesn't look very good. I want some sort of ending, okay? I had a beginning and with the beginning is where I introduce my characters and my setting and then I have a problem that happened kind of in the middle 
And then an ending, sort of. The ending was that where, where the problem was resolved or the solution. We called home and my mom was there and she said that she'd bring me in my lunchbox. Now I want to say something at the very end that kind of finishes up the story, right? Um, I could say, I was so happy. That tells, that tells, that's a good wrap up. I was so happy. There we go. Now, remember at the beginning <clears throat> when I started doing this, I, wanted, I, I said that one of the things that we need to do is make sure that we stick, stick to one thing, that we're writing about one thing. <clears throat> In this story, I wanted to tell about the time that I left my lunchbox at home and what happened. I don't want to talk about anything else. I don't want to talk about a birthday party or the time I went to the park. I'm only talking about what happened when I lost or when I forgot my lunchbox. Um, okay, so I want to make sure I did that. In my first grade class, it was almost lunchtime. I realized I didn't have my lunch. We called home and my mom was there. She said she would bring in my lunchbox. I was so happy. Did I stick with what I was supposed to say? That what I wanted to say, nothing else? Yeah, yeah. That's important when you're writing a story, is that you only write about what you mean to, that you don't write anything extra. Okay, your job for today in Seesaw is going to be to write about a, a personal narrative about a time that you forgot something, okay? A time that you forgot something, that will be your problem, okay? Make sure you did like I did and mention your characters and your setting. Make sure you have a problem and a solution. And don't forget, you need to make sure that you only talk about that one thing that happened, that one problem. You don't wanna talk about different things. So stick to that one problem. If you change to too many things, you'll get your readers confused, okay? So I can't wait to, I love reading your writing so much. I love it. And I can't wait to read what you write. So I look forward to that.